What's up guys and welcome back to another video and this video is important because it's of a beautiful old mid-Victorian villa built in 1863. It's also known as Moorfield or Moorfield Mansion and somehow it has slipped through the cracks of being heritage listed and it's now due for demolition. And I know all my subscribers and viewers really love seeing the detail and craftsmanship of these old places. But also with so many of my videos that I've shown lately with Adelaide, they end up being demolished. And I know you guys hate it as I do. But as I said, this video is important because I'm going to leave a link in the description that's to an active petition that's going to help save South Australians heritage and history. I'm also going to leave a link to an awesome Facebook page that's called Help Save South Australia's History from Demolition. They have been following this home situation very closely and there's a lot of passionate people on there. Go to the page because there's lots of posts about this place. This place is very much loved. With this explore and walkthrough, there was already a salvage process started, but I was able to find some awesome real estate photos from Phil McMahon Real Estate. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy the walkthrough. I'd like to find the road we roam together Yeah, the floorboards Floorboards and mantles are gone the windows have gone. Wow, look at the uh, medallion that went around the chandelier. So yeah, I'm glad I caught this place, but I think a lot of it, a lot of a lot of it of what you will see in the real estate photos is going to be gone. There's one for you, Lachlan. There's a fan. As I mentioned in the intro guys, this beautiful old home was built in 1863. Also these very ornate and detailed archways are very distinctive of that era. And I found these archways in homes from the 1800s right up until about 1920, as you can see in this photo here. I've also found them in old farmhouses, as shown here in this one. It's kind of weird how they've only pulled up a small section. Maybe that's all they needed. The ceilings in this place are so high, which is another sign of its age. It's a pity the mantles have already been taken, but uh, you see them in the photos. Amazing.
see the low door handles as well. That's another door to the same room. It's all linen cupboard. Toilet number one. Nice wood seat. Toilet number two. This is a really nicely updated Floor's completely gone in that one. And we're in the kitchen area. So you can see the red brick here and sandstone. Original fireplace. From memory, I think there's an awesome photo from the real estate pics of that. Walk-in pantry. Oh, it also goes through to there. I'm not sure it's supposed to though. Maybe there was a cupboard wall there. Cool old vents. Another little wash area. Even those blinds are nice. Oh, there's those birds again. I filmed an old 50s home and it had uh, vents with some sort of birds on it. Those are much larger. These ones are much larger. Okay, keep moving. here and not sure what this room would have been it's almost like another small kitchen but it's got a different flooring Fireplace. We've got a cellar. How do we get in here?
found another cellar recently too in an old uh, Californian bungalow home. This one's way larger and at least I can kind of stand up straight in this one. This one's even got an old fire place. And a cool old chair. Yeah, I think there was a real estate photo for this. That's like uh, an outside hutch. You probably lower lower all the food into it via that hutch. There would have been maybe a some sort of um, lift thing there. Pretty cool. Okay. Crawling up the steps again. Laundry. It's a nice new addition. More of the glass block windows. Perhaps this was a um restaurant at some point or a function room. This place is amazing. You can see. Just the ornate uh, woodwork, even up around the corners there under the guttering. Craftsmanship. Safety. I've seen worse pools, as in dirty water. Chopping down the trees there. I think I read there's actually a horse stable out here, an old an old horse stable or a barn. I think I read that in the real estate.
This is really old. Check it out guys, this is an old stables, definitely, that sun's not doing it, here you go. Old barn and stables. Which obviously was a workshop, tool shed workshop. Man cave, calendar from 1994, Queen Anne Villa. There's no doubt this is a work shed. See, look at the old wood. This would have been a pretty significant home in its day. Again, if I can dig up more info on this place, I would have, I would have already added it in, or I will add it in, guys. Something to do with the pool, I guess. Here's the outdoor gazebo for barbecues. Entertaining area. You can only imagine what they're going to build on here if they are. Uh, taking the time to demolish something like this. What a shame. What's this? Almost looks like a little chapel. Another little garden shed. It's almost like, um, I reckon they would have held wedding receptions here at some point. With all these outdoor features. And obviously the indoor features. It probably was a... Yeah, it probably was a reception function and reception centre at some point in its life, if not the last last uh, period of its life. I'll try and find out. The church pews. This is where we started. That's the front entry there, guys.
Well guys, we just covered the entire property and what a beautiful property it is. And at the time of this video upload, this property is three quarters of the way demolished, as you will see in the outro montage. So stick around for that. In saying that guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And again, ask you guys to go to the links in the description. Thanks for watching guys, jump in the comments, stick around for the outro because it's a farewell to this beautiful old home, Moorfield. Cheers guys, bye.